We're going to look at the on-air room at WCRS Reading, Reading Radio for the Blind. I love the energy in this room. Look at this. This, like. is, this is the on-air room. Uh, ah. It's directly across from the control room, or more often the out-of-control room. <laughs> and in here is where we do interviews. We have a sports program, a live sports program. The only live program we still have at this point right now. Any program can be live, but this is the only one that's specifically live. But we've had uh, panel discussions. We've had a thing called Radio Plays. Yes, we have. And you have been in I one I was of in one. It was so fun. He's a great writer. <laughs> But um, and this, so this is where the big action can happen. Yeah, we and we've had all kinds of things in here from uh, people from the uh, agency area agency on aging, where they had a panel thing about the upcoming uh, social security changes mm. and uh, long term health care and how that affects them. And we had Wilbur Norville right in here, <laughs> and uh, we okay, did it. Well, no, we had a series <laughs> of programs on the Wright brothers. Uh, Bob Holland and I did, and. Uh, there's a NASA engineer and a chemistry teacher up in Cleveland who go around portraying Wilbur and Orville Wright, explaining how they did things. For real? And we had them in here, and we had them as ourselves more than, than that. And what's funny is uh, they did a program after us, and it was, they didn't get the, in Chicago Falls, we went and watched it, and actually, we got a better program here than they did. <laughs> Because it was 9 o'clock at night when they got to start theirs and people were tired, wanted to go home. And so yeah. We had their full attention. They didn't even really want to leave. We had to break it up oh, so no. that they could get to Cuyahoga Falls. I mean, we, we led them there so they could get there on time because they, they were from Cleveland. They didn't know anything yeah. about how to get there. And we had a most wonderful thing about how the rights brought it all together and, and th th in a sense through the scientific aspect. I mean, we talked to authors about it and uh, uh, we even had the opportunity to speak to, to people who portray Wilbur Norville right down in, in Kitty Hawk. Oh, wow. And uh, we even had the opportunity to talk to Betty Darce who's gone around portraying their sister Catherine. And all this portraying is right. going on. I had no idea. It's, uh, well, it's, they don't see it as a portraying to them. It's, <laughs> You know, I think sometimes Betty Darst is more uh, Catherine Wright than she is Betty Darst. <laughs> she's really and into so the she's, character. And so she is uh, just have so much enthusiasm for it and the history of Great. it. Great. So a lot goes on here at Reading Radio at WCRS. A lot. A, a lot goes on. And like I said, we have uh, uh, approximately 75 volunteers filing in and out and uh, doing their thing. Uh, a couple give. Uh, more than one day a week, but really I kind of prefer one hour once a week because that way we don't burn people out. That's true. And uh, like I said, we longevity is something that we have, and we're, we're kind of like a family, and, and people, they all volunteer for different reasons, and a lot of time is, especially when they're retired, they, they want to give back mm -hmm. a little bit. And this is a wonderful way they can help so many people at one time. Yes. Especially now with most of our programs also going out to the Mansfield area. Yeah, that's exciting. You know, as it continues to grow there, and as we continue to grow here, as we find more areas that we reach with a good signal that we can help and uh, bring bring them into the fold as well. This is exciting. So if somebody hears this program or watches this program and wants to volunteer, should they just pick up the phone? Pick up Call the you. phone. 330-784-3393. There you go. And uh, what we do is we schedule for a voice test. It takes about half an hour to 35 minutes. Uh, they come in, fill out a volunteer application, and go through a short voice test. And that includes reading a comic. Sure. Uh, a couple comics, as you remember. Then we have a short video on how to read for okay. WCRS, which, which tells them how to start a program, how to finish a program, what to kind of say in the middle, and segue at that kind of a thing. Okay. And uh, as they get more comfortable doing that, then it becomes a very natural thing. It usually takes uh, four to six weeks before they truly get, most people get comfortable doing that, especially people, you know, you sit down and you record right on the computer and... They're a little leery about computers, yeah. and many of them, our volunteers don't even have a computer at home, believe it or not. But they'll come in here, and I said, just think of it as a big, funky-looking cassette recorder. Yes. And uh, that kind of makes it a little easier for them. When we try to match them up with what's most convenient for them and most convenient for us, where, where we have different holes, and, and, it, and that does shift from time to time, because sometimes somebody starts on a Monday, but they say, you know what, Wednesday's a little better yeah. for me. Or they might start, hey, I have a great need on a Sunday. Well... I can do that for a while. Uh, what about Tuesday? I need this. Well, 
I can do that, but not, you know, once golf season starts, you know, yeah. I'm off Tuesdays because that's when I golf. You know, and, and you make these deals and you shift around and and uh, usually they're, they're pretty uh, flexible as to okay. where they go and what they want to do. Now, do you also accept donations? We do accept donations, absolutely. Uh, you have anything in mind? <laughs> well, not all. You get right the now, checkbook <laughs> out, uh, and uh, it is that we are a nonprofit, five hundred one c three organization. Oh, okay. So and tax there, right off. therefore, there is a tax deduction you can make from that. So, uh, donations do help uh, in any large or small amounts. Uh huh. And uh, so it would go for equipment, maintenance of the place, the whole building. Whatever is needed. Maybe. Sometimes subscriptions, you know, because we have a lot of magazines that we read from. Oh, true. And newspapers. You know, the Wall Wall Street Journal is fairly expensive to pick up for the year. But out of the Wall Street Journal, we get a good four hours a week. Wow. So it, it's a very important publication to us. There's so much happening here at the Reading Radio for the Blind, and they've been around since 1976. 1615 East Market Street in Akron, Ohio. If you want to feel great about your own life, come down to WCRS for one hour a week and record something that will later be played over the radio for the sight impaired and disabled in our communities. You'll feel great about volunteering and it's a way to make your life more artful.